The game will change dramatically in a few weeks thanks to the upcoming items that will be released and one of those items is Malefic Gun. This item recently underwent another change. It was originally introduced as an item with an active ability that increases the user's basic attack range temporarily. This time though, they turned the active ability into a unique passive which allows the user to have their basic attack range extended after landing a skill. To clarify, you actually have to land or hit the skill in order for it to work. Simply casting a skill and not hitting anything will not trigger the unique passive at all. This unique passive still has a cooldown time but only 6 seconds unlike the previous version of this item which had a much longer cooldown time. With that said, we decided to test this item and use it playing as Layla. We chose Layla because it seems like an overpowered item when equipped to her thanks to her long basic attack range. Let's go ahead and head towards the game and talk about why this item might change the game dramatically once it is released. And of course, as usual, we'll also talk about some tips and recommendations that are all guaranteed to help you win more games. If you want more content like this, be sure to give this video a like, share it, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. In that game, we prioritized Sky Piercer in order to increase Layla's odds of securing kills. After all, she is a late game hero and taking advantage of every possible kill is a must in order to gain gold and experience faster. Sky Piercer is another item that we believe will dramatically impact the meta once it is released. After completing Sky Piercer, that's when we will start building Malefic Gun. When playing as a marksman, don't be blinded by unnecessary clashes. If there's an opportunity to push, take it. But of course, check the minimap as frequently as possible. You'll never know if an easy kill is nearby. You see that? Sky Piercer made that kill possible. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have taken Balmon down with that much HP left if it weren't for Sky Piercer's effect. Sky Piercer is very good for its price. It's only 1500 gold, so buying it early is highly recommended. Since we dealt some damage on their undefended turret and also took advantage of an easy kill, we were able to gain a total of around 450 gold, and that's all thanks to map and field awareness. Next item we'll get is Malefic Gun. Just like Sky Piercer, it is also very affordable. It only costs around 1940 gold. The problem with it is its bonus physical attack is very low, so you have to balance out your hero's damage later on in the game with something that deals a stronger punch, such as Blade of Despair, Berserker's Fury, or maybe Malefic Roar. You would know that Malefic's gun effect has been activated when this visual effect appears. Look at that tremendous range increase. Layla already had a crazy range thanks to her skills and passive range buffs, so having Malefic gun will allow her to have an even crazier range. Another problem with this item is it does not improve the user's critical chance. Now that I think of it, maybe I should have replaced Sky Piercer with Has Claws. I kept Sky Piercer simply because the 9999 damage looks so cool. We can do it! Open
easy kill. Now I know better. I'm stronger. Team, destroy the turret. You can always find your own path. Bullseye! Target locked! Bullseye! An enemy has been slain. Your team destroyed the turret. Double kill. Eventually though, we decided to sell boots and get win of nature due to obvious reasons. at the bad guys. Time to shine! What do you think? Is the new Malefic gun good or is it bad due to its mediocre physical attack bonus? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone! Peace!